Hi friends, how's it going? Today we're going to be designing an entire brand from scratch for a coffee shop using Kittle and I'm going to show you a little bit of my creative process for brand design. So let's say you got a client and you already walked through the briefing process with them. The client is called The Jazz. They are a new bar and coffee shop, so a bar and cafe that aims to blend the charm of jazz culture with a modern, young, cozy atmosphere. So the branding should reflect this duality, making it both classy and cool and accessible to a younger audience. They will need a logo design, four social media templates, menu design, a banner, and illustrations. All right, we got a lot of work to do, so let's start. First thing you need to work on is mood boards. We already got a video about that here on the channel. So if you wanna know more about mood boards in the creative process, check out our mood board video. So let's say this is the mood board you and your client agreed on. Um, We can sense kind of like a casual, like a young atmosphere here with some illustrations, uh, some typography, even the, the color palette for this mood board is very casual. But also, you know this is going to be classic. I have some serif and some script fonts here. You know this is going to be, you know, sophisticated. It's a really good mood board. We got a mood board, very important for the creative direction. So now let's design. First thing I always do is I test a bunch of different fonts and I put them side by side and I just test them stuff around with my favorite ones. I get rid of the ones I don't like that much or I don't think it resonates with the brand. Uh, remember, we need to keep it cool with this brand so I don't want the type part be to be too formal, you know. So I ended up going with Poppy because it reminded me of kind of a 60s-ish jazz posters. It's very vintage, it's very retro and groovy. So I was like, ooh, this, this has potential. So I just experimented with some fun combinations. I thought this logo needed a little bit of a movement, you know, jazz movement. So I used the transformation tool to angle the logo and I thought it looked super cool. I'm also going to create another version using the text effects tool with a block shadow for an even more retro look. And this 3D look is super fun. You just need to select block shadow and test some different offset and angle combinations. That's it. After a lot of experimenting, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, let's think about some colors. I came up with this palette that consists of a slightly greenish off-white that goes super well with the rest of the colors I chose. Two brown tones to represent the coffee and a very bright royal blue for a pop of color. I chose a four color palette, but you see I'll only use three of them really. To be honest, a three tone color palette is enough, but four or even five are very common as well. All right, this marks the end of our logo design. Now I want to create a little coffee illustration for our brand so i'm going to use ai for that i'm writing my prompt and i'm choosing cartoon vector style and that's what ai came up with i thought it was very cute to be honest but not the vibes i was thinking for its little face so i'm just gonna hide that you know cover that with the basic element and just try some random cartoon faces we have plenty of that in the mask kit category but in the end i just decided to go with no face at all because i thought it was cuter but you know this is just a good tip that i thought you guys should know okay now for menu design of course i'm going to use a template so i just go over templates and i look for menu and I really like this one, so I'm going to base my design off of this. Okay, so the secret for editing templates and making it your own is starting by changing the colors. Swipe the template's colors to the colors that suit your design, and you're already going to see a big difference. Then, of course, swipe the logo if it's the case. Uh, this way, you can guide yourself to kind of shape shift the design. I like the typography used here, for example, so I decided to keep it but also edit new ones. I generated more illustrations for the menu as well and left that nice shape on the bottom basically untouched. By the way, I love the AI Vector Generator tool, actually the AI generator in general. If you haven't tried that, you absolutely need to. So check out the link in the description to start using Kittle and creating designs like this. 
There is a lot of elements from the original design here, but it looks like a complete different menu. I know that having this type of train side for design is all about practice, so a little exercise for you if you struggle with that. Go ahead, select a template, and start designing from that. Just to practice, just for fun, just for whatever. Okay, menu and design is done, so I decided to create a little pattern just for fun, no reason at all. I just grouped a bunch of logos and the copy illustration together and created a pattern. Okay, so it's time for social media. I'm obviously not going to start from scratch either. So I just looked for social media and found this lovely template that is perfect for us. It has four different posts. So let's delete the thumbnail here real quick and start editing. Again, I'm going to start by changing the colors and in this case, the images as well. Remember that if you want to release a mask, just click on top of it and press comment G and then delete the image or click release mask on the right side of the panel. To crop an image, simply double click on it and drag the sides to whatever size you want. You're going to see me doing this a lot in this section. All right, I changed some stuff around and added some elements, but I decided to go with the same typography, same font basically. And I also decided not to use the logo here because not all of your social media posts need a logo, but that's a whole nother topic. For the second post, I decided to kind of use the same principle change the colors first, then I decided to keep the same typography and I added this nice abstract mask shape to insert an image. Looks really cool. I also added some similar elements and shapes that I added in the first uh, post to kind of like look like it's part of the same brand, it's part of the same identity. And for these stories, honestly, it can get easier than this. I used the same everything, just changed the information and used an image as the background instead. Same for the last horizontal Instagram post. Change the colors and the configuration and that's it. Now, lastly, to wrap everything up, it's time for the banner. I used, I used a random size here, but of course, if you got a real client, make sure you know the banner size they need. I decided to start from scratch because I had something super simple in mind, but you can also start from a template, of course. I chose this amazing illustration that I love from the Elements library that is super chill vibes, and I just wrote coffee and jazz inside and finished with the logo and the opening hours, and that's it. We're done. So I'm just going to mock everything up off camera real quick and organize all of this into a presentation. And, and there you go. That's our complete branding for our fictional client, the Jazz Bar and Cafe. I think overall we achieved the feeling the client was looking for. It's fun, it's young, it's groovy with the color palette and the typography, but it's also classy and retro. I think we balanced those two feelings in a very nice way. What do you guys think of this brand design? I want to know everything, suggestions, critiques. I'm open to anything, really, just comment down below. Also, if you watched this far and you're not subscribed, come on, come on, come on. What you doing? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, um, give us a thumbs up because, you know, a like for this cool branding, maybe? As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!